Please welcome the lovely Kirsty Alley, everybody. Kirstie. Thank you. It's very nice you're on the show. And you look sensational, may I say. Oh, well, that, thank you. What a lovely cardigan you're wearing. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my eyes are trying to stay at the cardigan. I'm trying to flirt with you a little bit. That, that's, uh, I don't know, that's flirting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's... <laughs> oh, man. How you doing? <laughs> I like the act. I like the, the, is, are you romantically involved with that gentleman on the show? The, oh, no, no, oh, no, right. no, no. Okay. Well, he's, what, he's already married to someone else. Right. Well, are you romantically involved with him? It's, no. It's I show business. Yeah, I know. I don't go that way. Oh. Romantically involved with others. But I almost would go that way with you because you sort of broke my heart. Why? Because you didn't even take me for a test drive. You didn't even try me out. You just took someone else. I just met you right now. <laughs> I know, but I mean earlier. When How I didn't you know you? Well, been... That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it's sort of, you could know who I was. You know? Of course I knew I mean, who I you know were. who you were. Well, yeah, I can't just phone you up and say, hi, Kirsty, I saw you on TV. You want to go out? You know, you can... Why? You can do that? Yes! <laughs> yes! And it's actually was so upsetting to me, that's why I got fat again. Oh, no, It no. was! No, it was. no, no. What's that? I'm gonna touch you. Don't, don't touch, don't touch the head of the snake. <laughs> I'll tell you when. All right, all right. That's right. No, uh, no, you didn't get fat again anyway. You look fine. Thank you very much. Yeah. I've lost weight doing my own weight loss line. And you've lost it from the right places because there are other areas where it's looking fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Do you? You're very, you're very open about your struggles with weight, aren't you? I, I quite, I've admired that in you. Well, it's a little hard to be closed about it if you have. 20 paparazzi living at your house and... Do they really follow you around all oh the time? Oh, God, they're horrible. Yeah, they're, they're pretty bad. I, I, apparently, they don't bother with me, but apparently they're very bad. <laughs> they're horrible, but you know, since we've been filming the show, they don't follow me. They don't, because they don't want us to turn the cameras on them and put the cameras on their license plates. Ah, why? Oh, they're probably because criminals. Because they're criminals. Oh, yeah, they are, yeah. Is it against the law to take paparazzi? It probably is, if you're in somebody's no. house. What no, about, well, what about if you have a telescope trained on someone's bedroom? Because I have that. You do? <laughs> oh, I know who you are, Kirsty. I know who you are. Yeah, the way we take it off. I can't pictures. believe that you would think... Are you, can you, have you ever phoned somebody up you knew on TV and say, Hi, you, you look good on TV. You want to go out? Uh, no, but I think you should have. I Look, your wife is beautiful. I know. I know, and she was a good choice. I'm just saying that you just passed me over. Just I didn't pass you over if you I didn't did, know. You did, you know who I am. Yeah, but I also know who other people are. I know, but you could have I just... Didn't, I didn't feel the connection. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, 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 I didn't know. I, I, I didn't know I was disappointing you by not introducing myself. Plus, by the way, mm. I you wouldn't have known who I am if I called you. I know who you are. You have a TV? You have a show. <laughs> do you, you don't watch the show? I've seen your show. Really? Yeah. Are you, are you, what are you looking for in a man then? What are you? Well, you would have been good. Let's just talk, let's just take it back. Let's take it back three years, okay? Three years, okay. Let's just take time back three years. Right. And then I could see, were you married three years ago? No. Okay, see? We have things in common. Like, you were, were you a druggie alky? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I was just a druggie. I wasn't an alky. Oh, <laughs> What well, you has to be the voice of reason? Yeah, you clearly <laughs> were not participating. At, at, so you were a druggie? Yeah, I was a right. druggie. And what then kind I of drugs a, did you take? Cocaine. Oh, I knew I liked you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's a bad drug. That though. is a bad drug. Yeah, because it makes you think you're really smart. I know. And you really say stupid things. I know. I wrote a journal when I was doing coke. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah. And you, I was, Do you still have it? Oh, yeah, I do. And it was like, oh, my God, I'm so, this is so profound. Somebody's going to find this someday, and somebody's just going to change their life. It was the dumbest <laughs> you've ever heard in your life. <laughs> Seriously. You know, I, I... Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> You're good, aren't you? Mm. 
you won't know now. No, so it was three years ago, and then. Yeah, let's say we're back three years ago. I think right. we have a lot in common. I mean, I'm older than you, but I think that would work for me. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're very, you're a very attractive woman. Well, I'm, thank I'm, you. I'm just, you know, I find myself, you know, married. Um, <laughs> But three years ago you were. But weren't. three years ago I wasn't, you right? Weren't. Okay, but I, how Did am I? Did you ever hear of me? Did you know who I was? Oh come on! Yes, of course I knew who because you, you were. Because you were in sitcom world. Yeah, but right. So you would have to know who I am. Yeah. And you would have to have known I got fat and then got thin, and in that thin period was like a perfect time for you to have leapt. No, no, that would make me look shallow. You would have said if I'd have called you then, you went, ah, you're only calling me because I'm thin right now, and I'd have said no. You must right. base your entire self-esteem and your and your love life on your weight, Kirsty. That's just not it, it's not necessary. I mean, look, you got the boobies there, everything's cool. <laughs> that's a good point. Yeah, you don't need to worry about that. No, that's yeah. a good point. So you took the uh, you uh, why are we doing three years ago? Because that's when you stopped? No, because you stopped. I think uh, you probably had a little dating time with your wife. I'm trying to go back before you were married, so it's all not right. weird. Right, well, okay, so we've gone back through this wormhole in time. I'm just saying, people are always asking me, what, who do you think's the right kind of guy for you? Who's the kind of guy for you? All and right. you said, are you look, who's right, the kind? And, and so you're the kind of guy. So go to Scotland, there's hundreds of us. Serious? Yes. Actually, you know what? You'd do very well over there. I would? Yeah. They like big breasts? They're guys. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, on, on shows, I don't usually confide so much about my, you know, people say, well, what do you want? And I just say, oh, nothing. I don't talk about it, but I'm going to talk about it with you. Yeah, all right. Well, I, this is what you should do. I think you should go to Scotland. There's very, uh, there's, there's men like me, they're all over the place in Scotland. Some of them still drinking. <laughs> I could save them. Yeah, that yeah. would work. Yeah, all right. Yeah. We know that. Yeah, yeah, that one. I can fix him. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Pet the snake, Kirsty. Yeah, yeah. I saw what you were saying in your opening monologue about that the giant check. Yeah. You know, and not. So I, you don't remember this, but I owe you money. Oh, really? So I'm I happy to send you to look for it. Certainly. Have this. I have the hundred dollar check. Oh, thanks. That I owe you the hundred dollars. I'll just put it in my purse. Yeah. Just right here. Thanks for that. <laughs> I think I think we should find you a Scotsman. I think that you. I'll have take it. it. All right. Well, you should go over there. Do you enjoy disgusting food? No. Well, that's going to be a problem over there for you. No. But I love the, I do love the accent for real. Right. Well, uh, most people over there talk with an accent. Yeah, I'm. That's, I'm down with the accent. Right. So there's. But I like your blue eye. I like light-eyed men. Light-eyed men. Well, there's mm. plenty of them. Some of them have got some red in there as well. <laughs> um, what else do you want? It's not just the look. You have to go a little bit more than that. Do you want someone who's uh, artistic? I want someone or? who makes a check look small. Oh, the Scottish, they all make the checks look small. They do? Oh, yes. Let me touch that again. Yeah, yeah, no, actually. Wow. Yeah. Whoa. You'll notice it's uh, rock hard as well. Yeah. I... Man. I like Ma manly I, I, men. Well, yeah. Scotland's the place for you, yeah. I think. Yeah. I think so you, you want uh, a manly man. Handsome. Handsome, yeah. Funny. Funny. How about teeth? <laughs> Not a deal breaker. Looking good. Uh, <laughs> do you like, uh, well, you want someone artistic or more kind of a businessy kind of. Kind of rich. <laughs> Uh, it's Scotland out then. I think, yeah. <laughs> no, no, actually, there's some rich people. Do you play golf? No. No. I don't like men who do either. That's going to get in your way over mm -hmm. there. Uh, <laughs> but uh, you very rightly look at your boobies, and that will change it around for them. They'll say, never mind, lass, I'll give up golf. I'll give up golf for these. I like the name Angus. That works, right? Yeah. That, Is that sort of like John? In Scotland? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, kind of. Yeah, I gotta go there. There's also Johns. You I'm mean not, like... No, no, not that kind of John. I need to get another check. No, no, no. <laughs> That's all right. You can have a freebie. I, uh... I, we have to take a commercial break. Oh, whatever. Is that your... Oh, let me touch that one more time. What? That? You can... I tell you what, we'll take a commercial break. You can touch anything you like. We'll be right, right back right. with Kirsty. <laughs> Everybody. 
Welcome back. Uh, Kirsty and I are trying to work out our problems. And uh, apparently I disappointed her greatly at some point. Uh-huh. Because you wouldn't have nothing to do with me. You know a lot of girls on Twitter love you. On Twitter? Oh, God. You're like Twitter mania for them. Really? Oh, God, yes. When I said I was going to be on this, this show, it's like a thousand, like, I love him, I love him, tell him, I love him, tell him, blah, 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 blah. Oh, no, 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 that's me. <laughs> I do that to make myself seem more attractive. <laughs> hey, uh, you, guess who's here? Do you want to do this? No, you do it. Are you sure? Yeah, because I'm not good at that. That's right. You have a talk show, I don't. I, did you just, you just snorted. <laughs> You're right, I should have called you. Uh, <laughs> my next guest is a soul singer here performing Baby Father oh. from, uh, from her number one, uh, number one album, <laughs> Soldier of Love. Please welcome the lovely Sade, everybody, Sade. Oh. And then the kitten farted and a bird flew out of its ass. <laughs> now, I'm interested in our body language because I am uh, pointing my leg crossed towards you, which is actually an invitation sexually, and your leg is crossed away from me, which is actually a refusal sexually, body language. You're married. <laughs> you had your opportunity. I, yeah, well, I, it was, it's not an actual one. You could have taken me on a test drive, I'm just saying. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's a... Yeah, you, you and your imaginary cigarettes, you know how to drive a man wild. And my imaginary sex. <laughs> because right with my imaginary sex. Do you, do you have what? imaginary sex? I do. <laughs> and then do you... Most people don't call it that. <laughs> 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 Yeah, well, most people aren't European, Kirsty. Yeah. When you're, uh... Nah, that's not right to ask uh. that. Well, when you're having your imaginary sex. Yes. Who's it with? Yeah. Three years ago. All right, right, all right. All right. <laughs> Who's it with now, then? That fella that's in that show with you? No, he's married. He's Jim. Okay, you know. Um, I'm bad because I don't go for fat guys, and I don't expect people to go for fat girls, so I have to be thin. Yeah, yeah, I, you see, I'm, I will not allow you to base your attractiveness on your body weight. This okay, I will only base my attractiveness on my breasts and nipples from now on. <laughs> okay. And I think, Twilight, and I think that's what we learned on the show tonight, everybody. <laughs> Kirsty learned that. It doesn't matter as long as you've got great... Uh-oh. <laughs> That's right. Say goodnight, Kirsty. Goodnight, Kirsty. Goodnight, everybody. <laughs>